Mi chiamo Teresa, come Santa Teresa. I was born in 1894, the day when we celebrate Saint Teresa. Tengo 18 anni, I am 18 years old. I was born in a little village high up in the mountain, nel cuore dell'Italia, in the middle of nowhere, in mezzo a niente, eh? Mia madre says that she has been waiting for me for so long, after five boys, che la Madonna le ha fatto la grazia. <laughs> e come si dice? Um, that Our Lady gave her a blessing, eh? Eh, for this reason they call me Teresa della Grazia in the village. Oggi è festa nel paese, si balla e si canta fino a notte. We dance and we sing all night. L'ultima pizzica prima della partenza. Domani parto per la Scozia, tomorrow I leave for Scotland. My husband is waiting for me, we have a child of two. Sono due anni che non vedo mio marito, two years I have not seen my husband. I will travel up with my son con il treno. Prima col carro e poi con il treno. Io spero che la Madonna ci fa la grazia pure a noi che staremo bene. Mi chiamo Filomena, but everybody call me Mina. I was born in Grass Market, Edinburgh, in 1905, from two Italian parents. <coughs> my father was a shoemaker, a very fine shoemaker, and my mother teneva la casa. Yes, she kept the house. I got married to Vincenzo, who has an ice cream shop in Portobello. <laughs> we are not doing bad. Last summer, we bought an ice cream tricycle. Ooh. <laughs> Vincenzo is an artist. He plays the accordion like his father. E la sera facciamo la musica con gli amici. Yes, we play music. I sing. Uncle Joseph plays the guitar. And Pietro, my cousin, plays the mandolino. <laughs> last night to celebrate il battesimo di mia niece Lucietta. Io chiedo la grazia di vedere l'Italia prima di morire, that I can see Italy before I die. Mi chiamo Maria Concetta e sono l'ultima di sette figli. I was born in Manchester in 1923 and I got married with Carlo from Frosinone. I was 16 then and Carlo 43. I ran away the day of the wedding, but my father called me and I got married with a black eye. <laughs> we came to Glasgow to work in my uncle's fish and chip shop, and I had four children with Carlo. <laughs> then he disappeared. <laughs> Someone said that he went back to Italy, but I didn't care. I soon remarried with John Giovanni, and I had another three children with him. John was a barber, and I worked with his sister as a dresser. Oh, well, at the beginning, I just helped out, you know, uh, um, wash the towel, wipe the floor, uh, clean the shop, a bit of everything. But now, I run the shop, my husband, did not come back after the war. Ma la Madonna mi guarda sempre, che tiene un occhio sui miei figli, che stanno sempre bene. Mi chiamo Betty. I was born in Barga in 1898. My father was a craftsman, terrazzo worker, and so were my brothers. They left three years ago and I joined them last year. Mi chiamo Giuseppina and I ran a fish and jeep shop in East Kulbrai with my mother and my two brothers. My father died in the Great War. I never got married. Mi chiamo Alice and I wash clothes per tante famiglie in Gross Market. Uh, my daughter, eh, my daughter works in a confessionary shop in Elm Row. E il padrone is a cousin of my godfather. Mi chiamo Carmela. Mi chiamo Angela. Mi chiamo Antonietta. Mi chiamo Lucia. Mi chiamo Maria. Mi chiamo Maria. Mi chiamo Antonietta. Mi chiamo Angela. Mi chiamo Rosaria. Mi chiamo Susan. Mi chiamo Carla. Mi chiamo sitting on 
the bench, just a few steps away from my own door, from where this woman came, I do not know. Her gaze is dark and mournful like the sea. She is searching, but for what I can't be sure. No teardrops tremble from her eyes, and yet I feel her sadness touch me like a breeze. There is a woman <coughs> sitting on the bench, just a few steps away from my own door. She carries a deep wound that never heals. She lost a piece of heart and can't recall the moment when the pain became so real. She seems to wait for this piece to return. From time to time, she shuts her eyes and smiles. There is a woman sitting on the bench, just a few <coughs> steps away from my own door. She is a traveler and yet she's not. She is a pilgrim full of hope and fear. I can't remember when I saw her first. My mother said it was long, long ago. Her face has changed, but always there she sits. Long time ago, when I was young, the grass was She will go to school and learn English. 
and I will learn to write with her. She was six months pregnant and she wasn't fit enough to travel, but she wanted me to be born here. She wanted it so much. My father named me after her. My father has a cart, an ice cream cart, and the horse's name is C. Rocco. Yes, C. Rocco, because his uncle, his uncle Rocco helped him to buy the horse. Oh, my God. 
io! Te god sicuro non sei! Dice il paipo! Sante paipo! Ho già visto! Ehi! 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 hands, a 
and our heart seems Jesus' heart. Con tutta respira intorno. We light candles to our lady with shaking hands. And we cradle our children with shaking hands. now. The great war left only the women in the church. We smile at each other and we share our prayers. Hopes and struggles speak the same language. But my husband isn't in that trench coat. My Joe left to Australia a year ago trying to find a better life for us. And my bairn, my boy, well, he's gone. I sent him overseas at the start of the war. Well, I never left. I never heard from my Joe after he, after he left. And, well, I couldn't afford to keep my beer. Well, I already have another three to feed at home. He'll have a better life with another family in another country. He'll have a better future. See, I look at that woman sitting beside me and I think, why did you have to come here? Off it daft to leave our own country to come here. <coughs> There's no even enough here for us. What was she hoping to find here? But we share our prayers with shaking hands. And when we do, our hands touch and our pains touch. And our voice, it's the same.
To me, my honor is my family. And my family is my mother. I don't want to be saved. I don't need to be saved. Benito. I don't like the name. I don't like the man. Non, non mi piace. Non mi piace niente, ostia. Questo porta guai. He will make troubles. And I don't need troubles. Uh, I have my shop with my marito. We sell pesce and patate. Uh, uh, what many don't know about my pesce and patate, eh? Will he ever come to buy a fish and chips after in my shop? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I can't even talk to me. I run the shop and I don't want troubles. Uh, and he will make troubles. Yesterday, a customer left me this. A photo of Benito. First page. I didn't like his piercing eyes looking at me from the newspaper. It, it, it like, it looks, he, he, he was looking at me and he was saying, I want your soul. No, no, he is a devil, a diavolo. He was staring right at me. I've never seen eyes as blue as his, they can reach you through. That was the first summer I spent at the Fascio Club, organized for the Italiani Italiana all'estero. First my brothers went, and then it came my time to go. I was so excited. Italy was amazing, the best summer of my life. The food, so much fruit, so juicy, so colorful. We all played sports and lots of other activities during the day. The day was so full, my life was so full. We all sang together and we really felt like one big family. All the Italians from France, Holland, England, Scotland. One big family. At night, me and my mate squeezed through the tent to watch the stars. It was so warm and the crickets were singing. Some couldn't bear it, so it was so loud, but to me, it was a lullaby. The music of the stars reaching down to earth, enchanting us, blessing our dreams with hope. Us, piccoli figli della lupa. The day we went to Rome to see Il Duce, my legs were shaking. He appeared on the balcony dressed in a white naval uniform. So beautiful, eh? I think I fell in love straight away then. Gioventù d'Italia, a chi la vittoria! And we all shouted back loudly, a noi, Duce, a noi! I have no doubt, he is the one to lead Italy. He will make Italy a better country. We will be looked up to by the Scottish and be proud to be Italians. No more Italiani, macaroni, hokey pokey, dirty Italians. I will walk down Leith Walk and they will all say, Buongiorno, signorina, le è una figlia della lupa, una figlia della patria. I love this man. In the name of God and of Italy, I swear to carry out the orders of my duce and to serve with all my strength and if necessary with my blood the cause of the fascist revolution. This silly needs conquered Abyssinia. Oh, a new land for the Catholic Church to feed with the rosary, the crucifix, and the Pope. Or oh, now that Mussolini has gassed all these starving people, there won't be many left to feed with prayers. Have you ever thought what it means to be a foreigner? The school had to change my name, make it sound more Scottish. They used to call me Smelly Nelly because my breath smelled of garlic. On my way there, I'd stick my tongue out as far as I could. I thought the smell would go away. And after school, I did they change much here. Oh, here comes the Italian. The Italian said so and so. I'm not Italian. I was born in Scotland. I'm Scottish. I'm just like you. We want some respect and I want to feel at home. Yet yeah, I'll never feel at home. Alienated. Isolated. Keep your mouth shut. Keep your head down. I'm just like you. Can't you see? Le mie lacrime sono salate quanto le vostre. My tears are as salty as yours. My husband is a member of the Fascial Club. And when we go to the social club, I have to say, I feel like a queen. I know what makes my husband proud. I feel it too. He feels considered. He feels recognized. All his work, his sacrifice, it all makes sense now. He believes that the Italians will stop being seen as a bunch of illiterate stealing work from the locals. <coughs> That's why we joined the Fascial Club. The war? We don't want any war. We don't want anything bad to happen.
happen to our children, to your children. <coughs> we just want to belong. And finally, now we feel we belong. You will never belong. You will never be anything than anything else than what you are. Me lo sono messa al cuore in pace. Mussolini won't change anything. Nobody can change anything. The time, the tape, change things. If you keep the memory of what happens to you and the memory remaining your children and ai figli dei tuoi figli, e il cuore cresce, the heart grows, and the head grows, la testa cresce, and people learn. Ci vuole tempo, we need time. Che la Madonna ci aiuta, donne. Che Maria was a foreigner, and Jesus was a foreigner.
you remember? Do you remember when we were both pregnant and we used to sit on this bench together? A little bit fresh air to get rid of the nuns. My child and your child were born on the same day of the same years. You say it was a son. But we were meant to be friends. Do you remember? Italian, la scozzese, tu me hai offeso al pesce, il mio lo fa fritto. They came at midnight. My husband was holding my hand. We didn't speak much that evening. We sang a song. Una canzone del paese che ci aveva imparato sua madre quando era piccolo. We sang piano piano. With a handkerchief on his mouth. Che a lui ci veniva da piangere. They took him away without his jacket. We knew they were coming. But we were afraid. I was not ready. Ci ho detto, metti le calze pulite. Put on your Sunday socks. He was hugging me and wouldn't let me go. Then they banged at the door and he left with his socks full of holes. And I was left there with his Sunday socks in my head. <coughs> your fleet is to pack our things and leave. We must go away from the coast, they said. Where are we going? This is our home. We have no other place to go. My mother didn't say much. Fai la valigia, Betta. Aiuta i tuoi fratelli. Una valigia per uno. Then she started playing the piano. She remembered us it during the day, only in the evening with my father, sitting in the chair, watching her beautiful hands playing the songs of the boat. She was still playing when I left. My brother was coming back from the beach. He had something in his hand. Look, Betty, look what I found, he said. He showed me a bullet. I saw the airplane, Betty, high in the sky, coming down towards me, straight for me. It was big. It was beautiful. 
The bullet was still warm. They left one week ago. My mother and my elder sister. Up north, with all the other Italian women. I was born Scottish, so... Mi hanno lasciata qui, a fare la tela. I haven't gone upstairs since they left. I sleep on a chair. I open the shop, I close the shop. I open the shop, I close the shop. I don't know why I do it, because we had lost all of our customers. Yesterday, she came in. <coughs> a little girl that lives up the road. She was wearing my sister's shoes. I said to myself, these are my sister's shoes. I know they are. Le scarpe della festa. She wore them for her communion. She had a nice white dress and white shoes, like an angel. What are you doing with my sister's shoes, you little Scottish girl? But I didn't say anything. I couldn't. Too scared. Too scared of a Scottish girl. I don't like Scottish girls. I don't like Scottish. Full stop. They must have taken them on that night. When they broke into the shop, the shop was completely <coughs> wrecked. They took everything. I look at the child in front of me and I say, Out! Out of my shop! Go home! Go home? She ran away. Of course she did. It's not my fault if I've been left behind. It's not my fault if you've been left behind. It's not my fault if I've lost everything I cared for. It's not my fault if you've lost everything you cared for. It's not my fault if I don't like you. I don't like you! I don't like you. I... I don't like... me. You know what's funny? I was born here. I am Scottish, like you. That's why they left me behind. I'm not Italian enough to be your enemy. I'm not Scottish enough to be your friend.
said it was long, long ago. Her face has changed, but always there she sits. <laughs> <laughs> 